It was only a rock. A big lump of sandstone. You might pass right by it. But to us, it was a symbol of our freedom, of our independence. We all knew about it, of course. We learned as children how it was the Scottish Stone of Kings. But they took it from us. And as a nation, I suppose we'd forgotten about it. Time does that. It was history. Justice for Scotland. Support Home Rule. Justice for Scotland. Come to the meeting. Support Home Rule. But I was young and full of passion for my country. And Scotland needed to reclaim its identity. It was time for the young to remind us of who we were and who we could be again. Absolute proof of our resolve. We will plunge this message into the very heart of Westminster. <laughs> we, the people of Scotland, declare our belief that reform in the Constitution is necessary in order to secure good government. With that end in view, we solemnly enter this covenant. We pledge ourselves in all loyalty to the Crown to do everything in our power to secure for Scotland a Parliament yeah. with adequate legislative authority in all Scottish affairs. Yeah. Scotland will not be ignored. Yeah. nation in Europe? Here we are, the oldest bloody nation in Europe. Do you actually think Scotland can look after their own affairs? Well, well certainly not if you have the vote. There's a long no way chance. to go, mate. All I'm saying is give London a chance. Here's the chance right here. Now, let's see what they do with it, but I tell you this, if Scotland's ever going to be a nation again, we have... Stop! Shut your stupid mouth. There is no bloody nation. There's nothing but wind and rain and mud and shit. Look at that. What does that say? North Britain. See? We're all British now. Scotland's dead. It died in its sleep. Nobody even came at a funeral. One for granted. Tell him, I'll give you a lift. No, you'll kill me. <laughs> I heard you in there tonight. You know what you are? An anarchist, a menace to society. <laughs> Thanks for taking us a couple of minutes. Come on, I'm doing you a favour. All right. You on? Yep. <laughs> Careful now. Here we go. Oh! 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 Yes, Dad. How's the studies going well? Fine. Speak up, please. Aye, fine. You still thinking about law? Aye, I'm not decided yet, but... Still with that covenant thing? Aye. 
Harris, please. Oh, well, Matty, look at him. He's not stupid. Why can't you concentrate on your studies? I'm instead of concentrating no, on my studies. No, you're not. You're throwing your life away with all that no, nationalist rubbish. There's nothing wrong with having pride in your country. That's not the point. Nobody could be prouder of Scotland than I am, and you know it. But you have to go on in life. I know. I know, and, and, and I said I might try, though. Well, when? Well, you, you try this, you try that. When? Sweetheart, he's only come home for the day, and Bill's here. How are your studies, Bill? Good, sir. You're on to your second degree, aren't you? Aye, sir. Still president of the student union? I, I'm not I'm not throwing my life away. But if, if I see wrongs that need to be righted... There's always something I... wrong, isn't there? Well, let me tell you something, lad. What's wrong is not out there. What's wrong is in here. This is a world for doers, not for dreamers. Try and make something in your life, son. Ah, oh, here's those things. If the trousers don't fit, bring them back. I'll make a pillow cover. <laughs> Remember, your father gave you that. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mean to be harsh, Ian. He had the same fire as you when he was young. But the world's not easy. He's worked hard, made a good life for us all. I know, Mom, I know. He is proud of you, you know. Yeah, well, let him say so then. Ian. Bastards, eh? We'll get them next time. Right, right. They can't ignore us forever. Oh, can they not? Oh. People are outraged. No, they're not. Well, how can you say because that? Because it's bullshit, Bill. Like, just calm down, Oh, look, it didn't even make the headline. It's on the front page. Oh, come on, mate! How can people not care about their own country? People care. It's just... What? They're busy. Look, mate. Nobody cared more about the Covenant than I did. Thought I'd find you here. Mm -hmm. Ian's blowing a fuse again. Come on, we'll get a pint, we'll talk no, about I'm it. Not, no, no more talk, all right? I'm serious. Someone's got to do something. So what are you going to do then? Get an army? Invade England? Of course not. Then what, Ian? What? A symbol. We need a symbol, a gesture. Something to wake these people up a bit. An act of revolution, a salt march. A what? You know, Gandhi, when they march across India protesting taxes and salt. Oh, so you're Gandhi now? No, because, Bill, you know... You know what we are, you know what Scottish people are? We're ashamed. Ashamed of being Scottish. Screw them, because I'm not. Oh, look, Wendy Wood. She was a friend of my mum's. Are you out of your mind? It's in Westminster Abbey, right across from Parliament. Where it is. So it's protected. It's not some bloody souvenir. I'll take two postcards, a tea towel, and, oh yes, the stone of destiny. I just, think of what it'll mean. It's the single most powerful symbol. I know what symbol. it is. That's not the point. They'll put you away. You'll get 20 years. You might as well go for the crown jewels. You'll never get away with it. I might. All right, let's say you pull it off. You somehow get it out of the Abbey and all the way back up to Scotland. What are you going to do with it then? No, I've not thought about that. Oh, jeez. Well, no, but that, that's up to the people of Scotland. But I tell you this, if it doesn't raise them to their feet to fight and cheer for this country, then <laughs> Scotland really is dead, but at least we'll know. It weighs a ton. You'll never even lift it. I'm well, not by myself. <laughs> oh, you evil man. I'm six months from my degree. I know. Lovely I... position waiting. And here you come with your crazy schemes, offering me what? 
complete destruction of everything I've ever worked. Well, oh, all great schemes are crazy. That's what makes them great. We'll ruin our lives. Probably, I. Present, Ian. Aye, maybe. But it's for Scotland. I'm through with talk, Bill. I really am. Now, are you with me or not? You bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Give us that Westminster Abbey one, will you? Yeah. Statesman's Corner. Statesman's? Henry the Third, Edward the First. Here's the uh, back door I was telling you. What do you have to do to get a drinker in here? Listen, hold you up, Eddie. All right, I will. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, think no, no, I, don't, I don't think you're right, though. Because if this was you, how can that be? I stick chapel. Under renovation. That's right. Edward the First, Henry the Third, Edward the Confessor. Coronation chair. Yes. Talking about it was one thing. We Scots have always been good at talking. But I had to see what we were up against with my own eyes. Only then would it be real to me. I was off to London. want to join the tour? Um, uh, no, it, it's, it's all right if I just have a wee look about. As long as you promise not to take anything. raise the roof to 101 feet and it remains to this day the highest roof in Britain and the single leading cause of stiff necks among tourists. <laughs> now if you follow me we'll go on cloisters which of course Lanterns, please. Oh, sorry. It's uh, very nice. Sorry? The uh, abbey is so clean. Must, must be a whole army of cleaners in every night, just cleaning. Just once a week. Oh, that's surprising. <clears throat> I suppose the uh, night watchman could always pick up a wee bit of rubbish. Or men, depending on, on how many you have.
chair and stone made in the reign of Edward I to house the coronation stone of the Scots, which he brought here in 1296. Note how the stone is incorporated into the shelf beneath the seat. That's so, when a king of England sits to be crowned, he sits over the stone of destiny, which makes him, by Scotland's own traditions, king of Scotland as well, all without ever having to get his royal trousers dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, the original coronation was in 1066. Hello? It's me. Who? Huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, Gandhi. I was wondering when you were going to turn up. Listen, I, I can't talk long. You never know when they're listening. But um, I just called to say... Uh, I've been round oh to visit my auntie's house. You what? I said... I've been to my auntie's house for a visit. I didn't know you'd any relatives in London. Why didn't you go straight to the Abbey like we talked about? No, listen, I'm, I'm telling you. I went to visit... Her house. Oh, right. Where the hell are you now? I can hardly hear you. I'm in a pub, aren't I? Like, would you let me talk? I'm oh, sorry. So I've had a good look at a new ring. With the diamond in it? Oh, right. And how's it look? Ah, it's a lovely story. But it looks heavier than we thought, and the setting's a wee bit tricky. Is <laughs> it? We may need another jeweler. Right, well, we'll talk about it when you get back. What train are you on? Oh, no, I'm going to be late. I'll go back tonight for another visit. Back to your auntie's house? Hey. She won't be home, but I'll, I'll go down in the back. OK. Well, I'll see you tomorrow then. Oh, and, and Ian. If you see your auntie, Hi. ask her if she wants her panties back. Writing a book? No, I'm just doing a wee sketch. Why? Don't they have any churches in Glasgow? Move on, Jock. Mr. Hamilton, you'll expect it. Moment, sir. Ah, you're the young lad who wanted to see me. Mr. Hamilton. Have a seat. Some tea? Please, thank you. Thank you, Mrs. McCoy. She's a wonderful woman. I'm with the family since I was a boy. Still treats me like one. I've seen you before. Uh, Covenant meetings. That's right. You're quite keen, if I remember. <laughs> <clears throat> Is this a... Uh... Can I talk? I think so. Because what I'm about to tell you is, is of the utmost secrecy. If what we say here were to become known to others, it, well, it could cause me and, and you in Scotland irreparable harm. Well, I'm on the edge of my seat. I'm going to Westminster Abbey. And I'm going to bring back the Stone of Destiny. Of course, it's been tried before. I know. Even considered it myself once. I didn't know that. We were going to sneak in, dressed like monks, throw a cloak over the stone and drag it out after Sunday service. <laughs> I was 16. Your plan's a bit more sophisticated, I presume. Hey, I've got a couple of things. No details on chairman of the Covenant Movement, rector of the university. Can't afford to take the risk. You have accomplices? Aye. Done your research? Of course. And the plan, is it airtight? <sighs> will it succeed? Aye, it will. All right. What do you want from me? Finances. How much? Fifty. Fifty? That's, uh, that's a fair amount. Still, nothing's impossible, I suppose. I could make arrangements. You have a financial plan, a budget? Well, not really, but... I'll need something. Well, we need to hire a car. Right. Petrol, obviously, and then meals. 
Fish and chips and so on. Fifty thousand pounds for fish and chips? No. <laughs> Fifty. Fifty? You came to me for 50 pounds. <laughs> I know. We're, we're students, we're broke. Mrs. Macquarie! Kindly show young Mr. Hamilton the way out. Sorry if I inconvenienced you, sir. That was never my intent. Thank you, ma'am. I'll find my own way. Would you like me to clear the tea things up? No. I mean, yes. Sorry, Mrs. McCorry. That's all right. Nothing wrong with a man changing his mind now and then. Mr. Hamilton. Never met. Here's the chair, right? The chair's a chair and a half as five. One of us lives in the fire chapels here. My dear, so I claim the honor. Now at 6 30, the abbey closes, at which point I come out and I hide here, which is under renovation, tarps, ladders. It's perfect. I could be there all night if I needed to. Now, the night watchman finishes around midnight, one o'clock, at which point I come out, screw the lock of the door and let you in. Here's the brilliant part. I say we do it at Christmas. The whole of London will be in the pubs at parties. And we'll come down on them when they're lying in drink with their minds unbuttoned. What? What Bill was wrong? I plan to go home for Christmas. So cancel it. <laughs> I've got a committee meeting on the 23rd. Miss it? I think we should give this a little bit more thought. No. Why? Why? What's the matter with you? Like, I've been thinking, Ian. I'm so close to my degree. I've got such a great position waiting. And, I mean, we could do 20 years for this. Are you backing out? We're getting married, Ian, Jen and me, next spring. I mean, this is my life we're talking about here. I can't risk it. Aye, aye. No, fine. Forget it, Bill. I'll go myself. I don't need you. I'm sorry, Ian. I really am. Mr. Hamilton, is it? Yes, sir. How's things? Hey, moving on. Good. One moment. Jamie! I you're very interested in joining me. What would you like to do? Excuse me, it's a K, isn't it? It might be. Ian Hamilton. 
Hello. Nice to meet you. You dancing? You asking? Oh, yeah, I might be. I like the idea of teaching. Working with children and helping them find their way in the world. You must be the Highlander and you're only happy when you're tending the helpless or battling the English. Well, we're simple folk. I like your necklace, by the way. Boyfriend? No, nope. for my father. Wonderful man, the crofter. Ah, oh, we farm lads. <laughs> Grew up with the sheep. <laughs> and watching my father struggle every day trying to feed us. Paying taxes to a government that knows as much about the highlands as they know about the moon. Aye. So what do you think of you now, his young covenant? I don't know, he's dead. The ship was torpedoed in the war. I'm sorry to hear that. Me too. By the way, why haven't you said hello before? I sat right behind you in European history. Didn't know you wanted me to. Well, I didn't, but that's no excuse. Wendy Wood and Bertie Gray. Every national's worth of salt has talked about it, but that's just talk. I know. Well, has it occurred to you there's a reason why it's never been done? Look, I've, I've been to London. I know I can do it. Do you come with me? No. If we fail, we'd be laughed at. Even Scotland, I couldn't bear that. No, not could I, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't do it. Can I ask why you're doing this? Ultimately, the glory of Scotland. Ugh. What? My guess is it's not as much about the glory of Scotland as it is about the glory of Ian Hamilton. No, it's not need to insult me. If you don't want to go, you I've don't never have said to. that. I just want to know the lay of the land. All right, then, why me? First start, you were recommended. And let's be honest, I mean, you're perfect. Who'd ever suspect a wee lass like you? Is that what you think of me? No, I don't know you. No, I... you don't, do you? First, the rules. Number one, the answer is no. I'm going to London for the stone. There'll be nothing extracurricular if you follow my meaning. <laughs> They've not even crossed my mind. Oh, no, you're insulting me. No, I... <laughs> no, I didn't mean like that. Oh, what did you mean? <laughs> I just... Look, I think you're a smasher. I do. I just don't think of you and, like... Look, I mean, I might... Why don't you just stop talking altogether? You're only making it worse. <laughs> Him. Him. Stop it! Come on, we need a bit of muscle, don't we? Come on. I didn't really know Gavin, but I'd seen him. He was an engineering student better known for his drinking than for his studies. But Kay said if he got past that, he had a heart as big as Scotland. Tell the stone of destiny. As usual, she was right. I stood. <laughs> On top of that, he was bloody strong. Okay. Oh, tomorrow then. Aye, first light. You know, the Scots have a history of being great debaters. More often than not, that's as far as we get. 
I poured my whole heart and soul into the Covenant movement. It pains me to think that maybe it wasn't enough. Cigarette? Thanks. Oh, you, you're out. Ring me if you need help. Don't worry, we won't. <laughs> That's quite the ego you have there. Now remember, we're in your hands. Christ, Gavin, what's that? If you're lucky to get anything for this money. She runs them. Aye, but for how long? Who the hell is that? It's Alan. He's an engineer. Look, he figured something was up and he wants to come along and help Gavin, it. You, you didn't tell him, did you? Well, he asked me. You told him? How could you, Gavin? Look, he's, he's not going to squeal a norm. I don't give a shite if you know him. How old is he, anyway? 19, 20. What's the difference? Well, look at him. He's... Meek. Well, he's here. That should count for something. Aye, right, look, he's just shy. That's all. I'll take full responsibility. One mistake is in a train home. He can't say fairer than that. No, I'm... No. Hi. I'm sorry, we can't... we can't use you. Yeah, of course. That's right. You'll have to forget you ever saw us. Yeah, I understand. Ian, he's got a car. We could really use another car. We've been thrown together, the four of us. Strangers, really. But we were amazed at how it felt like we'd known each other for years. Alan's shyness had obviously made him a good listener. It was like he'd been with us from the start. We go in, grab the baby. Right, put it in the back of your car. Back to the car park, Switch where? it to the Ford. I get in Alan's car and put my foot down for Wells. Put the stones in the Ford. Right, she's the decoy, in case anybody's seen your car at the Abbey. Right. So then we drive the stone back to Scotland? No. No, that's a beautiful part. We drive it south. They yeah, expect us to go to Scotland. Right, OK. So we stash it somewhere, come back when the heat's off dead simple. Hi. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Right. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. They'll be in their cups. Bugger that. But excuse my French. Why put off till tomorrow what we can do tonight? He's right. It's not a bad idea. 
Why not do it tonight? Because we've not, we've not slept. I mean, can we even think straight? Thinking's overrated. Oh, come on. What? Are we men of talk or men of action? We have to leave now. Hi. Check your times. 20 past three now. Yep. <clears throat> I'll see you, I guess. Depending, of course, on the visit now in prison. <laughs> I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See you at the party. Oh. Oh. Could you not stick me with a damn thing? Shut up and stop acting like a big baby. Will you stop moving? Lie back and think of Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful with this, because this is the big one. <laughs> Can you take more? You all right? Hi. How do I look? When's the blessed event, Mother? Merry Christmas to you too, sir. Can't wait to see the look in his face tomorrow morning. Right, you ready? You realise the moment I walk through that door, my life will never be the same. Right, keep your eyes on Daddy. Take the tour. Only if you're the one giving it, sweetheart. Oh, no. I just hand out the educational literature. Ooh. Well, darling, by all means, educate me. and the single leading cause of stiff necks among tourists. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's all for today.
hell are you doing in here? Why, why didn't you shout out? Well, because of the... What the like... You're up there, didn't you? You're over the head. I'm patrolling around here all night, you know. How old are you? How, how old am I? Hey. You all right? Hey. You look horrible. Ah, oh, making yourself comfortable. All right, put them on. Oh, come on, don't take all night about it. Right, son, let's be having you. Come on, come on, come on. There's a good lad. You can't spend a night in here. Come on. Wait a minute. Merry Christmas. He said he's patrolling all night. Maybe not. He might I got caught, didn't I? And why do you have to be so damn nice about it? I felt you were a vagrant. I felt sorry for you. I say it was just bad luck. We try again tomorrow. Aye, we'll think of something. Will we now? What will we think of, Gavin? Because I've not heard any brilliant ideas out of you Ian. so far. Not that you would listen to anybody if they of had gone anyway. If you Stop came up with something... You were all tired, that's all. Do you remember Robert the Bruce? When he fought the English? And the story of his spider? Six times he watched her spin that web, and six times she failed. But she never gave up. I think we should go back to the Abbey and look for spiders. <laughs> spiders it is. <laughs> some work to finish, so I'll be up for a bit. I should get some sleep. I have a bit to do myself. We've got to get to a hospital. We can't ask too many questions. A doctor then? Something? <sighs> What's Ian? He's checking the schedules. He wants to put Kay in the next train home. Gavin... I've been thinking. Maybe we should all be on it. Jesus Christ. Well, look at us. Our money's almost gone. We're half frozen and no sleep. It's a miracle we're not all in hospital. So you want to quit then? I'm not saying that. Then what are you saying? I'm just saying maybe we just need to rethink it a bit. Get Kay home and regroup. The stone's not going anywhere. I can't believe I'm hearing this. I stuck my neck I'm out for you. Saying. Next train to Glasgow is 11.25. Mary, you too. Tell them then. What? Tell me what? 
Alan wants to quit. I no, I don't. Oh. I'm just saying, maybe this is happening for a reason. Look, we're all nearly half dead, and even if we weren't, we can't do it without Kay. One of us has to stay with the car. That only leaves two to lift the stone. It's not possible. You've said it yourself, Ian. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe we should just go home and make a new plan. Try again another day. Is that what you want to do? No. No, I really don't know. I can't think anymore. All right. Well, you're going to talk to him or what? Talk to him yourself. Now listen, you said, you said you'd take full responsibility for him. Aye, you? and I will. But answer me this. Is he wrong? Could you for once in your life accept the possibility that somebody other than you might be right? Secret ballot. S means stay, G means we go home. And if you vote to go, there's no shame in it, right? We can always live to try another day. But I will say this. If we go home, if, will we really ever come back? Get vote. I don't think you heard. Just still, not dead. Excuse me, I wonder if you might have any rooms available. Uh, we've just come in from uh, Shrewsbury and um Is that the missus? Hi. Uh, no, sorry, no, she's she's my sister. Is she drunk? I won't have drunk her to my house. No, she's not, she's not, she's just uh, she's not feeling very well. She just needs to sleep. Thanks for sticking up for me back there. Sod off. Gavin. Aye. Are you sorry you came? Of course I am. Nobody in their right mind would want to go through this. Then why are you? I'm mad, obviously. No. Not really why. Gavin Vernon, the mad bloke, opens beer bottles with his teeth. And you want to prove to people that there's more than that? Prove it to myself. It's funny. I'm just the opposite. Being shy, you know? Even when I was a wee boy, when people would look at me, I'd just... freeze up. But I always wanted to be someone, you know? Have adventures. never thought I'd have the nerve. You think too much. Be more like me. Just dive in. Something will come to you. Dive? Aye. What did you say to Ian? That day in Glasgow? I told him if you messed up, I'd thump you and send you home. No. Oh. And I will too.
Ian. I promise you'll come get me. I swear. When do you try to get me into bed? What are you thinking? Just that it's a lot more to Christmas now. I told my mum and dad I'd be with friends and I'd see them on Boxing Day. I put mum was so hurt. I never meant to put you, you all through this. Don't flatter yourself. We're here because we want to be. Stop taking everything on yourself, Ian. You're not the great high and mighty, you're just another boy with grand ideas and a head like a concrete block. And why do you want to push a rock up a hill all by yourself? Just let go a wee bit. Maybe people will like you more. You seem to like me fine. No, I don't. I just put up with you. <laughs> if you go for the stone without me, I'll break your arm. We were stuck. We needed a new plan. So back we went to look for spiders. It was Gavin's idea to draw someone out and grill him for information. Since the night watchman now knew my face, I stood back and let him try. Magnificent architecture, isn't it? A smashing stonework, what? But you just don't see this sort of a craftsmanship anymore, do you? Uh, no. No, you don't. Get on. What? G Gavin? Gavin? Excuse me. Can I help you? Oh, good afternoon, sir. Uh, we were just passing by and remarking on what a masterful example of ecclesiastical architecture this is. A Sebastian Fenster School of Architecture, Horson College? Oh, I've never heard of it. I'm particularly impressed with the preservation of the woodwork. Uh, to my eye, the carvers of the late Gothic period far surpass anyone from the, the Jacobean or Tudor periods. Yes, I quite agree. They've really stood the test of time. And it's such formidable doors. Oak, aren't they? If it was up to me, we'd smash through one of these stained glass windows. I think that might be a bit too noisy. But the old codger at the Abbey told me that the port's corner door was replaced after the war. Now that tells me it's made of pine, unlike this door here, here, and here. Made of oak. I'm never getting through that. The, the sheer strength of oak is like 1,200 PSI. Was pine? 600. Right, we're through that no problem. The right tool, the right place, the right strength, we're through. And if we can't get through it with a crowbar, we'll use his head. <laughs> Can you do it? Come on. Oh, and that was it. After all our planning, we decided on a good old-fashioned Highland raid. But before that, I had a promise to keep. Who is he? I have uh, come to fetch my sister. It's two o'clock in the morning. Sorry, our father's ill. We have to leave immediately. I'll send her out. Oh, actually, if I could just go... Get rid of the police. Yeah, those Scottish boys are back. 
I should tell you know. They're up to something. Send someone right away. Christ. I was taking her. Look, go and see again. Go on. License, please. <clears throat> what's um, what's wrong, sir? Lady there says you told her you're from Shrewsbury. Mr. Hamilton. From Glasgow. Is this your car, sir? Aye, it is. Papers. Right. Out. No, hold on a second, sir. Yeah. Honestly, no, uh, me, sir. If you could just, well, if you will, thank if you, you very much. Sir. Thank you. If you could, you, if you could thank just you. let me explain you, for sir. a second. What well, seems to be the trouble? Who are you? I'm with them. Something wrong. Hey, th this gentleman seems to think we stole the car. Oh, that's silly. Where's Gavin? Hasn't he got the papers? Uh, I got our mate Gavin in the car there. Well, it's better, thanks. One stuffing out the car, sir. That road there leads you straight out of London. Take it. Straight down. Four Scots, two cars, suspicious circumstances. They're going to put two and two together. Well, maybe not. I don't know about you lot, but I didn't come all the way down here to freeze my ass off and go home with nothing. It's ten past three, right? We've missed our time. We've no clue what we're walking into. Who cares? I say we try anyway. And they've got our names, you know that? They've also got our stone. What about you? Yeah, let's do it. Aye, we might as well go down in flames, eh? Thank you. 
Give me a hand. Right, get behind it. One, you ready? Push. One, one two, two, three. Come on, push it. Right, okay. Again. One more time. Two, three. Come on. Three. One last push. Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. Come here. Put it down. Put it down. Put it down. 400 weight, my arse. I smell like six. Scotland's oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. No, we didn't. Look, these edges are worn. This has been cracked for years. Oh, yeah, it has. Right, put it on the coat. Let me get this to the car. Right. Ugh. Slide it under, yeah? Ready? Yeah. Uh, quick, come on, it's under. What are you doing? Get, get back. A policeman has seen me. He's coming across the road. Sorry, officer. We... It's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve be damned. It's four o'clock in the morning. Oh, is it that time already? Mr. the missus. Uh, no, she's my um, uh, uh, girlfriend. <laughs> well, you're parked on private property here. Why did you move when you saw me coming? I, I suppose we, we knew we shouldn't be here. You should be on your way home. Where'd he go? Tell me. Come on, we'll move ourselves. Come on. Ready? Well, that's just it, you see, sir. We uh, we drove down for the holidays and, and arrived here too late to get a bed, so... Well, we drove around and we ended up here. Oh, Lord. Oh, that bastard made those do other work. Shut up, Pooh! Well, there's a car park just along the road. Oh, good. Then again, we can always get you to run us in and give us a bed in the cells. <laughs> Well, you two best be uh, running along, eh?
you've got part of the stone, that's something. You need to take that somewhere safe. I've got a friend in the Midlands, I can leave it with her. Ready, let's go. Maybe around the bend. Aye, maybe. What do you think we should do? I don't know. Do think we could carry it? Well, out into the street, catch up us. It's not as if you've had any bright ideas. How can I be you gibbering on at me? Fine, I won't say another word. Good. Don't. Fine, I won't. Good. Fine. That's it. Go and get the other car. Oh, brilliant. Come on. He's on his coat. Him in the car. Please, God, he left him in the car. Can we break in? Hot wire it. Stand back. Okay, yeah.
had no clue what had happened to Gavin and Alan. My only thoughts were of the story. Someone once said a nation's soul is in its people's keeping. And that morning, it felt like the soul of Scotland was in my hands alone. I'll get the train no, back. No, I'm the one who did Shut it. up. Look, I'm fed up babysitting you anyway. Now go on, before I whack you one. Go on. Go on. I'll see you back home, OK? December the 25th, Christmas morning, and this is the BBC News. A break-in has been reported during the night at Westminster Abbey. Although details have not yet been made available, unconfirmed reports indicate that the ancient coronation stone of Scotland, Mr. also McCoy. known as the Stone Come of Destiny, this. or Stone of Scone, has been Mr. reported McCoy. missing. There is speculation that its theft was a gesture of Scottish Mr. defiance, Mr. a rallying we point for the cause we of Scottish yes. rule. <laughs> What? For God's sake, Ian, drop the code talk. Tell me what happened. <laughs> well, it's a long story, but basically... You're all over the news, you know. We are? Really? Quite a kerfuffle. They're dancing in the streets up here, lad. You've really awakened something. Oh, my God. D was one of you wearing a brown wristwatch? Eh, uh, aye. That, that was me. Well, look, uh, best lay low for a while. And uh, better take the baby to his relatives or something. I don't worry. It's all worked out. Good, good, good. Ian, one more thing. Aye. Congratulations, man. I never thought you could pull it off. That's funny, I never thought I couldn't. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Let's go.
the stone and then they took it. Ian, come on, admit it, it was you, wasn't it? Aye, it was me, I told you it was me. Aye, <laughs> right, the only guy that suspects Ian Hamilton is Ian Hamilton. <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, what has this got to do with you? You did it! Ian, have you any idea the trouble you've gotten yourself into? Speak up. I, Dad. I do. I'm so proud of you, son. I am so very proud of you. Oh. Oh. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Your landlady let us in. What's going on? Just spent the last five hours down at the police station. They were asking me a lot about you. I told them you spent Christmas with me. <laughs> That's last year. Thanks, me. Aye. That's something else. My dad's a builder, so he knows a lot about stone. He was saying if the stone's been dry for 600 years and moisture gets in now and freezes, the whole thing could just disintegrate. There'll be nothing left. We'll be shoveling into paper bags. Ian, we're going to need to go and get it. Before we're all arrested. Before there's no stone left to get. What the hell is that? Should we wait? See if they leave? Is that it? At least it's one piece. Shepard might as well be back in the Abbey. We... We were just travelling through and we saw your fires and thought we'd see if we could have a bit of a warm. Have a seat. I you have a bit of trouble now and then, for the police. Some. That's because they don't like the way you live. You're free. I think freedom's the most valuable thing that people can have. Well, there are many who would take that freedom away from the people they don't understand. Like yourselves and, well, 
ourselves. Our people, the Scots, have died for freedom over and over for centuries, and we would again too gladly. But for us to continue our fight, we need a symbol to unite our people. We've not done anything wrong, although what we have done is illegal. But we've done the only thing we could. We need that symbol of freedom so that the flame that burns in here can never be extinguished. This symbol of yours. What is it? It's under your arse. <laughs> and it was under Mars. Brave souls who brought the stone home. Whatever they may be. <laughs> may Scotland never forget them. time before I was arrested and I longed for it. The excitement, the chance to have my say in court. But what really mattered was the stone. We couldn't just let it disappear. Public sentiment would never allow it. I decided to put the stone into the hands of the authorities. The next move would be theirs. Would they leave it in Scotland or take it back to London? to the outrage of an entire nation. We return the stone to the Church of Scotland at the ruined Abbey of Arbroath, where the Estates of Scotland met to sign their Declaration of Independence.
car. Let's do our jobs. The storm was bundled back to London, and I never saw it again. Are you the ones that took the stone? Which one of you is the leader? Speak to this man here. And you need to watch your name! My name shouldn't matter. Oh, we just want to know. Tell us who you are! You can tell them. Tell them we're the children of Scotland. But on that day, I heard the voice of Scotland speak as loudly as it did in 1320. As long as a hundred of us remain alive, we shall never give in to the domination of the English. We fight not for glory, not for wealth, nor honours, but only and alone for freedom, which no good man surrenders but with his life. Love you.